Welcome back to the Tribe of Nerds podcast. Uh, once again, we got our Vanquish uh, Tribe of Nerds crew back for more Survivor podcasting, and this was kind of a uh, spur of the moment uh, podcast idea. Uh, Kevin, Pirate Sarah, Cam, and I are going to talk about the top 20 best Survivor players to never win. So we're kind of just going to be throwing players out there uh taking turns doing that and discussing whether they should be on this like master list of the best to never win based on how they did in like their best seasons so um whether they've played multiple times and done well just one of the times you know you know how that goes so uh yeah we can start i mean i guess like do we how do we want to go about the order that's something we probably should have discussed before recording but it's let's just let's just go alphabetical let's just go cam j kevin zara Okay. That works. So yeah, just throw out a player and we'll discuss them. So okay, very well. Um, see, there's a lot of pressure going first, but I'm gonna go with uh, Devins from Rick Ed Devins. Nation. Yes, Rick Devins. He was on my list too, so thanks a lot. All right. Um, what what's your what's your reason? Just give us like a quick. Yeah, let go through some reasoning. So why why should he be considered for the master list? Thirty second to a minute. Why? Convince me. I mean, the Kool-Aid man, the news anchor, showed us how much fun you can have on Survivor while also dominating the game. And, like, you you felt the desolation when he went home at the end. Like, you knew that there would be no winner as good as Rick Devins of that season. I'm just saying. And he would have had so much more fun on, like, the winter season than uh, Chris would have if they wanted him. Which they didn't. That's what I'm going to leave it at. I like him. <laughs> I will I will not object to you. I will say that I have another player from that season on my potential list. So, Victoria. That's, I was rooting for someone else that season, but I won't argue against you. Yeah. So, well, it's not to say you can't have two people from the same season that deserve to have won. Yeah, we we can we can true. true. Um yeah, I mean, I I was debating whether to put him down as an option for me, but like I mean, I don't want to argue. Um, I mean, I think he was swap screwed when he got voted out the first time, like being swapped with everyone from your original tribe, like in in a three tribe swap. Like that's super unlucky because um, most swaps, you'd at least swap a couple people around. Um, so I, I guess I don't hold it too much against him to get voted out there. Um, and he, he did make the game entertaining, and he still made it through a lot of votes where his name was out there, whether it be with idols or he just managed to flip a couple people. So What a challenge beast, am I right? Oh, yeah, and he won challenges as well. So, like, I mean, he definitely, I would argue, should have won Edge of Extinction. Chris just pulled out that, like, Hail Mary at the last minute to knock him out of the game. Uh, and after coming back in the last minute, so, like... I, I I'll let Rick Devins into the top twenty best to not win. I I think it it he fits yeah, the bill. That's fine. That's so, fine. Sarah, any thoughts? You guys just make me laugh. Um. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Whatever Kevin said, I don't agree with what he said. <laughs> don't I like? I kind of zoned out when he was talking. It's like this bad habit. I threw up. I threw up in my mouth. I had to mute a little bit. Anyway, so I guess what I would pick, I fucking love Brenda. Like, I love Brenda Lowe. Um, I think she's a savage. I think I'm a big person with, like, I love people who are strategic, but they can also balance being super smart, but also likable enough to pull people in and, like, have them do what you want. And she's just a perfect example of that because, like, she did so many nice things, helping, like, get the teeth out of the lake, and she was just a good person, but also she was always calculating every move 
all the time. Like, I love her. So, no arguments from any of you. She goes most. Um, I'm actually going to disagree with Brenda. <laughs> so, honestly, I, I would have said Nicaragua, Brenda, maybe. But, like, Brenda could have saved herself if she just scrambled and stopped being, like, to having too much pride to scramble in Nicaragua. Like, she was in a good position, then all of a sudden got targeted and just decided she didn't want to scramble to save herself. Uh, and then Kara Moen, I mean, she didn't do that much in the game up until she, like, became this big social threat towards the end of the game. And then, like, her blind side was brutal. I get that. And she was a very nice person. Um, so, like, I get that. I just... I don't know that she's in the top 20 best to never win, and honestly, so. My pride goes out the window if I ever, I'm, I don't know, Survivor. Nothing is off limits. Um, Brenda is is on my, not my short list, but is on my overall list, so I actually am going to go ahead and agree with Sarah. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know what? Can I, I, know. I, say, can I say something different, then? <laughs> uh, well, you have to wait your turn next. I mean, we can't just keep throwing have everybody throw out like a bunch of random people. <laughs> I, I would say so. Here's the thing: Brenda got also got screwed over by someone who turned around and quit as soon as she got Brenda out. That's true. That is and true. That's that's part of the reason why I would include Brenda because if that person wasn't there, or if that person just like quit beforehand like it's a much different situation so well, yeah that's true i mean that person clearly wasn't making <laughs> smart decisions and screwed in uh caramoan because of sherry and for anyone who's listening you didn't see my eyes just like bulge up <laughs> that one like really okay yeah i mean she did more than sherry so right like <laughs> Sherry was just a mess. So, like, both times got screwed over by people who deserve to be on, like, an opposite list. So that's why I would have, would have included Brenda. So I I will back Sarah up. Okay, well, so... I, I don't have Brenda on my list, but I would maybe agree with them. Just because Brenda was, like, one of the only highlights of Nicaragua. I'd agree with that, but had the edit done a little differently in Kara Moen, then we might have been cheering for her more before she became this like all of a sudden social threat. Like, well, and and she wasn't the winner, so she didn't get a winner's edit. Like, yeah, I mean, I've I've heard things that from like interviews with Malcolm and stuff for Kara Moen that said that Brenda was like in a real tough mental space during Caramoan and that she would like go off and be alone and have meltdowns apparently by herself. I don't know how, how often that happened, but that could explain why her edit wasn't really there till the end of the game. We love a hey. mental breakdown edit. <laughs> hey, I mean, I, I, Listen. Hey, I mean, I, I had, I had things happen as well. So like, I, I can relate a little bit. Yeah, I find that very relatable, and therefore I more want her on the list now. <laughs> I yeah, I I mean I was just I I w I was yeah I guess I was explaining how why her edit was probably so bad. Yeah, yeah. So right. we we can leave her on the outskirts and not be decisive on if she makes the twenty. We're just five. making we're just making a group, and so we're not ranking the group. Like maybe we would rank her lower, but like we're just, like would you would you agree that she is a good player to have never won? And I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Fair enough. Fair enough. I. All right. Cam had one. Sarah had one. Jake, you want to? You want to go before me? Yeah. Well, I am going to put who I just mentioned. I'll mention Malcolm. I I legitimately, and not just because I met him, but he's always been one of my favorites. I think Philippines Malcolm legitimately could have won that season had he made a couple key moves uh, differently if he had either played his idol for Abby at the final five, but I don't necessarily fault him for that. He, I mean, his bigger mistake was at the final four, not just promising Denise. Like if he had done that, then I think he could have just convinced Scoopin and Lisa to possibly vote Denise off. If Denise was not willing to vote him out, like they would have just decided to vote with him at that point. 
um or you know i guess if he wanted to just force a tie with denise then he had that backup option so like that was his like only mistakes in philippines caramo and like yeah he got put in a really bad spot and maybe could have done a couple things differently to shift people on his side but like ultimately and maybe not like idled um with the double idol play with the three amigos like maybe they shouldn't have announced that they were voting philip but like um i think like part of it he was put in a bad position by corinne telling dawn everything so like if they had won the majority at that merge vote like and corinne had not gone home and sherry had gone home i think like he would have been a re in a really good position um and then game changers he absolutely got screwed out of making it at least to the merge i think uh in that game um because of that twist and jt playing really dumb so <laughs> yeah that's my pitch for malcolm i agree i really liked him he wasn't on my immediate five but he was on my outskirts list so yeah mm -hmm. i love him yeah and like who doesn't like malcolm like, right I too. If, if, Malcolm, if Malcolm can make a final, he probably wins. Sweeps the jury votes, I think. Right. So, Could you imagine like a final tribal with like, I don't know, like Malcolm and Joe and like some other cute, like adorable. Like, how would you even pick? Like, I would, I could, I don't think I could do it. I would, I would pick Malcolm definitely over Joe for a couple of reasons but at this point knowing what I know now yeah I would pick Malcolm over Joe but like at yeah. the time yeah. yeah well I understand what Sarah's saying yeah because like at the time everybody loved Joe as well so like all right uh, Cam any more thoughts on Malcolm no he he's a he's a god I love him he he's could win any season he gets to the end if he wants to he yeah should have won Philippine not he should have I'm really happy with he says a winner yeah yeah but if Malcolm was there instead, like there's no chance that he loses, you know, and he yeah. played phenomenally and he was on the right track when he played Caramel. In. But what can you do? Right, right. All right. So Rick Devins, Brenda and Malcolm. All right, Kevin, put your first person this, in. This is easy. This is, how are you going to make this list not include Suri? The queen, Suri. Suri, who twice would have won if not for like production i don't even know what to call them like in in uh fans versus favorites they're like it was a final two all of a sudden instead of a final three because if it was the final three and she went with those two she wins yeah um so she should have won that one and then in game changers she should have won there but she got they had too many idols, and so she was the only one left without immunity. So also, uh, Panama Exile Island. She literally Terry had the super idol, which was Ugh. at final four, yeah. which shouldn't have been allowed at that point, and yeah. so it forced her and Danielle into the tiebreaker. Yeah. So exactly. So she she could have she like had winner potential multiple times, and it was like production mistakes that that forced her to lose so yeah and the only reason she went out pre-merge once is because tom westman played an idol and jt again made a jt move <laughs> so right. so i mean go ahead and try to argue that three shouldn't be on this list N okay. nobody's gonna argue against that i don't right. think <laughs> we all know she should be yeah a any any other things to say sarah and cam about Suri? I mean, given the opportunity, I will fight with Kevin over anything, but I do agree that Siri should be on the list. I, I love a good, like I said, I love people who can balance their social and their strategic, and I think she's, like, a good representation of that. And I also love people with, like, a good, like, story arc, you know, just the couch potato thing, and now she's come back and done this how many times, and yep. I, I just love that, because, I mean, here I am, still on my house eating chips and stuff so i i would like to be sari someday <laughs> yep yeah sari is definitely one of the best to ever win she's been impressive every time she's come out even when she's gone early uh she always leaves an impact and i'm sure all the juries would have agreed that she would probably get the majority of the votes had she gone to that tribal council but hey you know she won the traders so she got a little taste of vic yeah 
she got pretty far as big brother so well, that's me i didn't know two one pagers thanks cameron i didn't have a hiccup you'll we'll never know it's been it's been a while <laughs> Yeah, I I got spoiled that she won Traders a while ago, and I never could finish it because of the site I was using to watch it. Like, stop showing the ep later episodes. So, yeah, all the tags. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh. So now, Cam, you get to put a second person in on the list to see if we put them in the top twenty. Huh. Do I go for like an oddball or do I just stay You can open? try for an oddball. I mean we you can, you I didn't try an oddball, but if we all if we all shoot you down. That's fine. Then um, you have to wait a whole nother cycle to put someone else back up. I think I'm gonna say Jerry Manthe. Yes. I love Jerry Manthe. It like she was so iconic back in the day. Maybe she wouldn't have won that first season just because juries were different back then right. than what they respected. But had Russell maybe taken her instead of Parvati or Sandra to the end, she might have clutched that out. I think she... And it would have just been so fantastic. I think she does. I would say she definitely wins that if she goes to the end of Heroes or Villains. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think she would have... I know her and Colby have had not exactly the best relationship, but I, I think they were in good terms by then, and I think Colby might have really vouched for her on that jury, especially. And what a story for her it would have been, which she's smart enough that she would have been able to tell it to be like, like the journey she's been on with Survivor and right. for her to be sitting there at the end of that. Like, I think she, I think she wins that hands down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she was, she was on my, she was on my, my like full list. Yes. I yeah. She was on, yeah. Well, she was actually, she's on my outskirts list, but I love a black widow for sure. Well, and the crazy thing is, like, she, even, like, the moves she made, she could make a move and then not get as much blowback as other people got, like, Coach or Russell got all the blowback of moves and she didn't get any of it, like, her voting out Boston Rob or her voting out Danielle, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so. And what an iconic outfit and hat, come on. Yeah. 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 I yeah, I wish I could wear hats like that. I cannot. I look like a homeless crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> cannot wear hats. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be fun. Can't wait. Is it my turn now? Yes, it is your turn to put the second person up from your list. We all agree on Jerry. Yes, we all agree on Jerry. Am I? Gosh, who would I be without picking my buddy Russell Hans? <laughs> he's got he's got to be on there. I mean, the strategy. There are some things I didn't just, I didn't like that he did, like um, you know, the whole saying his dog died and stuff. But that's I'm a big animal lover, so when I hear stuff like that, I'm like oh, my heart, like I'm gonna throw up. So, but like all overall, he played good games. It got him to the end. Um, but again, that's where the social thing comes in and, you know, he can't win them all, but I definitely think like he, he could have, should have win one in a perfect world. Okay. So I, I will probably let this slide from it because from a strategic perspective, I get why people say Russell belongs on the list. Um, I just think Russell does not play to win the game, he only ever plays to get to the end, and I think Russell has a, admitted as much in interviews, even at reunions. Like, I just don't... Russell will never win this game, and then, like, after the two times he made it to the end, he his tribe throws a challenge to get rid of him in Redemption Island, which was a stupid move on their part, but he wasn't exactly helping things by, like, being toxic around camp. He comes back for Australian Survivor, is toxic around camp there and flops and goes home with an idol around his neck. So like, it's, I don't know. He's, he's not great socially. I don't think, but from a strategic perspective, I can probably let it slide. I want to hear what Kevin and Cam have to say. I also have Russell, not on my, not on my short list, but on my, like on the outskirts of my list, just because strategically, like strategy wise he he does understand the strategy of like how to vote people out how like how to position himself to get far so like if we're talking about the best of like yes he he's one of the best strategists who has not win who's not won that's true um 
I understand the arguments from the social perspective, but like, I, I would still include him. Yeah, I understand that. What I'll say about him is that I I couldn't say he would never win because that game that he played is so phenomenal to watch. And while we may not say he's good socially, anybody else who tries to play like that doesn't have a chance to get as far as he did that first time, that second time. Like he's kind of a master craftsman at getting to the end and given the right jury that respects those moves, right? He would win. Like I, I would say if he played in the new era, even and got to the end, like there's probably nobody who would say, Oh, you played like, I hate that you played with my emotions. Like people don't play like that anymore. They want to see those big moves. And now nobody's making those big moves because they just want to get to the end. Yeah. So like, Fair enough. I feel like a lot of the new era winners don't have like these huge resumes where we're like, Oh, it's going to be a landslide. But if somebody like Russell came, came around again, they they might sweep. So yeah. I would say he is probably one of the better to not win, but it's still distasteful. Yeah. Right. In the era that he played. Yeah, I'll I'll let him slide into the top twenty because like I understand everything that's being said and I agree from a strate- strategic perspective, and maybe you're right, Cam. Maybe in with a certain jury he could win. I just I don't know what uh, we just have yet to ever see that. So he only lost Samoa by one vote, didn't he? No, it was like seven to two to zero. I think he. I... I thought it was close. He got more votes than Mick, but Natalie White swept him in votes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I kn- I know that she beat him. Like Yeah. Right, right, right. I thought it was I thought it was closer because I was like, huh. Yeah, I mean Yeah, I mean, I think uh I thought that too at first after watching it for the first time, but yeah, no, I after multiple rewatches and everything, yeah, it's it, it was a blowout almost. So I'm looking it up because now I want to know. Oh yeah, it is seven two to zero. Only Shambo and John voted for him. Oh Shambo, love her. And then you have John Fincher, who is not a great person either. He's there. He's he's there. <laughs> I mean, Shambo's the character. I like Shambo, but. <laughs> Didn't John like get to marry uh, poverty? So like he must have did something right for a minute. For a minute. <laughs> minute. <laughs> he's pretty. Yeah, he's got nice teeth for sure. He swam with jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Take back everything I said. Yeah. <laughs> he can't fix swimming in jeans. Yeah, I don't think he can cut. That might be worse than wearing Crocs. <laughs> 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 all right so it's my pick next i mean i'm gonna pick uh again the man who inspires me to do this podcast of course rob sesternino um i think sesternino's amazon game is so good and like i mean he was constantly in this middle position of like he could flip uh sides and just ping pong and it's something that other people have tried to replicate and have been unable to do so as well as he did. Um, and like he, I think he made honestly probably all the right moves. Um, it's just that Jenna won those last several challenges and when they didn't expect her to, because she was sick and then she voted him out and took creepy Matthew to the end. (laughs) Um, but like, I, I just like I think he I think it's closer between him and Jenna, obviously, because Jenna had a better social game, probably um, at, 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 by those old school standards. But like, I, I think Sesternino still edges out Jenna even um, at the end of the game. And so and then all stars, he just was screwed no matter what, because he was the highest placing person on a tribe with no winners. So he, he was going to get voted out early no matter what. Oh yeah, I like, had. I just gonna say, like one of the early people who understood like the game of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I had Rob Sesternino on my short list. I absolutely adore Rob Sesternino. What a fun and strategic player. Like, I wish he had more opportunities to come back and play. Like, I wish right. they treated Rob Sesternino like how they treated Boston Rob. Right. 
like swap those two out, please? Yeah, that'd be and nice. Rob probably wins before Rob does. Yeah. Um. Yeah, absolutely adore Cesarino. So thank you for bringing him up. Yep. <laughs> Sarah, any thoughts on Cesarino? Um, I I can't. I must say, like, I'm not as familiar with the older ones as I am is with, like, 12 going forward. But the things I have seen, I can say that, yeah, I probably would like him as a person. I can't say I remember specific things about his gameplay. So, like, I really can't argue, like, one way or another. But I do think from what I've seen that I would enjoy getting to know his season more for sure. Amazon's, like, at least worth it for watching Sester, you know, even if you don't exactly agree with a lot of the other stuff in the season. But um yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i like amazon just for sester you know mainly so yeah i like chocolate yeah, choice. Butter. Solid choice. um all right so kevin you're up next i'm gonna go with um one of my favorite idol players and say kelly wentworth she was on my list i was gonna say her next yeah yeah, yeah like so good like i was i voted for her to come back for second chances because i could see like she oh, got cool. just swap screwed in in the first her first season and then if she had won that final challenge which she won the practice if she won that final challenge and goes to the jury like i there's a really good chance that she wins and then her third time she was not on the bottom for a change and so she, like she got blindsided because she was like the head honcho you know like she's she's used to being on the bottom and having to like fight and she didn't and she didn't know how to handle it so like well and i don't blame her for not playing her idol because war dog clearly made the wrong move and went out the very next round so like <laughs> correct so yeah so i would definitely say one of the best in every way kelly yeah yep yeah. i completely agree with everything you said kevin i mean uh she she uh probably deserved to win at some point it just unfortunately didn't happen so not that i would i listen i love jeremy oh i love jeremy too but like i would have liked her to win edge of extinction that would have been cool but yeah any other thoughts on with Kevin enough, like I feel like we've agreed too much. So I know this is really weird. <laughs> I need you to say something stupid. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch this up. Like Kelly sucks, but like it sucks because I do agree. I think she's really. I think some things could be different with her social game. Like she's, you know, some little things. You know, she comes on strong, and I know that all too well. I do, but I think just a lot of her moves are just iconic she's very smart strategically i think they're you can't argue with her being on that list she's just really great yeah i don't have kelly on my list but okay. it's not that i don't agree with everything said here i just wouldn't vote for kelly wentworth <laughs> well it's three to one so you know i know I, like i said i agree i think she definitely deserves her spot more than like a random nobody i have on my list but kevin convincing she, cam of, just didn't come to mind but yeah she definitely she, kevin convincing cam of another san wendell sir well, <laughs> not for her san wendell sir performance. well i know that but i just <laughs> she really came out and shined her other two times well yeah i was just saying her debut season i just thought it was funny so <laughs> I'd still vote for her dad over her. Oh, I love her dad. <laughs> love it. I just wanted I just wanted to see what Kevin looked like when I said that, but it wasn't true. <laughs> I don't I, listen, I'm I'm petting my cat right now, so I can't pay attention to the nonsense you're saying, Cameron. <laughs> kind of like Dr. Evil style too. Can you do a little chair rotate? <laughs> I wish this chair rotated. <laughs> All right. Cam, uh, all right, so the list right now is Rick Devins, Brenda, Malcolm, Sari, Jerry Manthe, Russell Hans, Rob Sisternino, and Kelly Wentworth. Cam, your third pick. Let's, um, should we go with like a new era person? You can. Know. No, go you know free. what? I'm going to go, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to go with Ian. Ian from Palau? Ian from Palau. Interesting. Yes, he made a dumb decision, but I think I would always vote for him. I loved his game. I loved like who he was 
And if there were a lot more final threes back then, I think it would turn out a lot differently for a lot of people. Do I think he beats Tom? No. Do I think he beats whoever else was there? Yes. Katie? Yes. Yeah, she, well, he beats Katie for sure. Here's what, here's, so Ian was not on any version of my list at first, but what I will say, Cam, is that he was also in the early era of reality TV when, like, like you didn't want to be uh, in an alliance and being bad and being mean. And, like, you know, like, it, it was a much different time. And I, I think that in a, like, like, so he got very much swept up in, like, not wanting to be the bad guy at the end. And, like, okay, just, like, promise me that you'll take Katie because, like, he wanted to, like, be the, the good person. And, like, same thing with Rafe the next season. Like, yeah. Like, just wanting to make sure that they aren't seen as the bad guy. So, like, if it was a few years later and it was, like, not a bad thing to be seen as the bad guy, like, yeah, he might have stayed up there longer and beat Tom. I don't know that would, that would have happened, but, like, I could see that happening. So, wasn't on my list, but I, I do see the potential there. Yeah, I I I think um I see what you're saying and like Ian I see consistently brought up by other fans as like one of the best to never win. Um I do think Tom definitely still beats him but it is a lot closer I think. Definitely closer than Tom versus Katie. Um but like you know, I Ian made some good moves. I mean, I think he his move uh to uh, his part that he played in the Greg blind side was really good and um, or putting that together. Um, yeah, I mean, I you might have convinced me. I, I could see myself putting Ian on the list. I want to hear what Sarah has to say. But Yeah, get in there, Sarah. Back me up. I, I don't I don't know who Ian is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask me. <laughs> Fumbled the bag, Sarah. You know, Cam, I'll, I'll agree. I, I, you know, let's put, let's make it interesting. Let's put Ian on the list. Yeah. Well, it, okay. So Ian also like lost. That was the longest in, endurance challenge in the history of the show. Yeah. 12 they, hours. They purposely make them now so that they won't ever break that record. Like they purposely make them to be like unbearable for more than like an hour. Right. Like because of that challenge. So like. Like I said, I could I could see a world where like if he isn't worried about like, you know, wanting to make sure that people think he's a good person, like, no, he's hold on, wins the challenge, he takes Katie and he wins. I could see that. I see that. All right, I'll allow it. Woo-woo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so that is nine people on the list so far. All right, Sarah, who are you gonna put up for number ten, potentially? Mm-hmm gonna i don't know it might be social or like just like personal bias but i love spencer bledsoe um i think he's just a great player a person um, i think he's really smart he's really good at competitions i love his ability to be adaptable um people i think underestimate him until it's a little bit too late i loved his ability to have that quarrel with cast but they were able to come together and keep them both you know, keep himself alive in spite of having to work with Cass. So, like, I, I really just like him for so many reasons. Don't fight with me. Okay. So, I used to connect with Spencer a lot um, at the time of Kagiyan and uh, Second Chances airing. Um, I was I, I was super excited to see him on the Second Chances ballot. Um, it I think he was in a tough position, Second Chances, because he was by far the youngest person on that cast. And for, like, an older jury, they just weren't going to give, like, a 22-year-old kid a million dollars. Like, they just weren't going to do that over, obviously, over Jeremy, who was a family man and had played a great game as well. And so, like, I I think Spencer had the issue of connecting with people there. I I think his uh, Kagi on game of just being like the underdog that just couldn't get things to go his way was super compelling. Um, so I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like Spencer. I think I've just like, I don't know. I've just fallen off of, uh, him as one of my favorite players. I, I don't know if it's just, uh, 
I don't know if it's just like maybe outside the game stuff that I've heard about him uh, or what, but um, I I like Spencer as a player, so I I'd, I'd be perfectly fine with Spencer being on this list. I don't like Spencer. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's kind of like what Jake said about Russell is what I think about Spencer. I think he's so socially inept in the game of Survivor that he wouldn't get the votes at the end in any variation of season because he's just not likable in that setting like he he kind of annoys me greatly and coming in hard cammy i just i don't know i just i think spencer would have won kagi on i maybe not against tony but i i can't believe that i'm about to fight cam inside with sarah (laughs) and what jake said about his underdog story i think owen knight's did that better in 43 than even Spencer did in Kageon. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion because like that underdog story was done much better. So in in comparison to Spencer, it just I, I just don't like Spencer that much. Like I don't think he should have won. Sorry, I just needed to take a take a drink but and re-swallow that. I won't fight you either because you know in some variation of, of final three in second chance, he does win. In some variation. Um, Maybe. Maybe. I would say my thing with Spencer is that a lot of it, I think, had to do with his his age and just kind of, like, not not yet understanding how to, like, play a role within a group. You know, like, he's, he's a kid. So... Yeah, for sure. But, like, strategically did understand the game and so that's why i would i would put him on the list because i think he he did understand the game he just was so young he just didn't understand himself and how to like fit into it yeah that's mm-hmm. a good way to put it hate that i have to agree with you but yeah a- your age can work against you sometimes for sure yeah so i i had him on my like second tier so i would i would absolutely support him being on the list yeah so I guess we're three to one. No, he belongs. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Two and a half to one and a half. <laughs> I need you to. I need you to not agree. Like, like I need to not go this way. <laughs> we That's know that I have some good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I guess it's my turn. Um, I think we need to put one international player on this list, and who else but the king himself? Let's put King George on here. And just like he's made it to the final tribal council the first time, came in fourth and would have absolutely demolished the final tribal council and heroes versus villains. Uh, by far one of the most entertaining people that's ever been on any version of the show. And just like the moves he pulled off, especially in heroes versus villains were incredible to watch. So King George, uh, uh, we have prayed to the Macedonian Jesus, and he should be on this list. Listen, George, King George has one of the greatest moments in Survivor history, that Tribal Council where Fraser goes. Yes, yes. It's so good, and, like, the fact that that man has not won a season of Survivor yet is shocking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, he's, it, like, he's up there with Suri in my mind, in terms of, like, how has this person not won yet? Yeah. I absolutely am in love with George. George should have won Australian Survivor a hundred percent of the time, every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I, I can see why Haley beat him that first time. Right. With the jury that they had. But as a spectator, it's like you want George to get it so bad. Mm-hmm. And then to watch him absolutely wipe the floor with this cast in Heroes versus Villains. Like nobody else mattered by the time they were at the final four. Right. And it was just so frustrating that, like, he had to go like that and let three newbies kind of get to the end, which was, you know, they were fine, but they weren't George. Like, George would have got every vote, gone down in history as one of the greatest winners of all time, and now he'll go down as one of the greatest to never win. Right. So it is unfortunate, but yes, praying to the Macedonian Jesus that George does get to come back and somehow, somehow with all his notoriety, get to the end and win. Like, 
He needs, needs to be. It playing needs to be a Brooklyn. stacked All Star cast. Yeah, because because he'll slip through again. Yes, it needs to be like like all All Stars. Yeah. Yeah. The just the, the Golden God and George at the final. Oh, oh my God, that would be Ugh. incredible. Sarah, any thoughts on King George? Um, unfortunately, you're gonna hate me for this one. Also, I have not watched it but sad if you're listening to you guys and the stuff i've heard like i'm really excited to watch it because i've heard he's a good player entertaining that's something i love is just so fun to watch and mm -hmm. george is my dad's name so I, he'll be my favorite i'm sure and <laughs> probably a youtube compilation of things he's done yeah, yeah well like shorts and stuff will come up on my um like facebook and stuff so i've watched a little bit but i haven't watched it as a whole but i am excited to now yeah and i got to meet king george as well and or kevin and i did get to meet george at uh in florida at the hearts event and george uh, upon meeting george he immediately noticed my tribe of nerds t-shirt uh and he complimented it so and Kristen says he's really good at just noticing things which we've seen on the show so like just like that's just incredible for me that he has this ability to just observe things and like notice things right away so i i yeah george yeah absolutely deserves to be on this list i was worried that we couldn't bring up him because we were doing like u.s survivors so i'm so glad yeah. we did no he, I, both, he, I wrote him in caps underneath the other names I was yeah like, I, I i wanted to include him on this list i mean it's a debate whether we can include more i just know that sarah and kevin won't know uh a lot of other ones because they haven't seen right. a, a, as many other seasons you'll hear so. my argument for sure don't worry <laughs> um <laughs> yeah i haven't seen i just watched heroes vs villains because i like i it was on youtube right so i was watching it and i was like this is amazing yeah for sure so um I'm sure cam and i can continue to give more recommendations on that. yeah <laughs> yeah kevin you should at least you should go back and watch george's first season Oh my goodness! Yeah, I haven't. I just haven't gotten there yet. Calm down. That man. that's a Gabon level season in terms of like the twists and the the insane stuff that happens. So. Mm, all right. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Am I am I am I getting pick number three now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Listen. I. I am torn between which one I want to say next. I'm going to say. I'm gonna say Amanda next. Amanda has made it to the end twice and then came in, what did she come in, eighth? Like she is one of the like most days survived of all people who've ever been on the show. Mm -hmm. Made it to the end twice and hasn't won. Um, I think probably hasn't won because she's just not good at final tribals. Um, but like clearly understands the game. And like going into tribal council, like James even said, like I expected, I just expected Amanda to win Micronesia. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't expect Poverty to beat her. Like so, that just shows that like she's not good at tri final tribals, and Poverty is. But like, like she was supposed to win that going into it. So I'm saying Amanda. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, I I think. Uh, Amanda definitely deserves to be on this list too. She is the first person to reach a hundred days. It's they said so on Heroes versus Villains. Um, and yeah, I mean she really just got put in that bad spot. The only time she got voted out is because JT caused the heroes to lose their numbers, and so JT causes a lot of great players to get voted out. Um, and so. Um, and she was just seen as the smartest person left on the heroes. So, um, unfortunately, um, so yeah, I mean, I, yeah, final tribal is her biggest hurdle, but, uh, and unfortunately I don't think, I think Amanda's moved on, so we probably won't ever see yeah. her again. But. And that, exactly. So she's, she's not going to do it again. Mm -hmm. So I also like Amanda. She probably doesn't win a lot of the time she's in the end in most scenarios but she absolutely knows how to get there she mm -hmm. will most of the time get very far in the game every time she plays because she's just she knows it she's very good at it she just can't present it well to a jury and so she'll never she, get those votes she won't get no votes like she'll right. get votes it's just she won't get enough to win because she won't 
convince the people that need to be convinced. Right. True. Get in there, Zara. Sarah. Sweet. Who's Amanda? Just kidding. <laughs> LOL. Um, no, I agree. I think she's really strong in a lot of in a lot of the aspects of the game, just socially, strategically, uh, physically, she's strong. Um, she's just very endearing. I feel like she's just one of those people that can pull you in. Like, even if you didn't want to work with her, if she just looked and smiled at you right, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll vote my mom out. Like, no problem, you know? So I think she's dangerous that way. I would definitely like to argue, obviously, um, but specifically with that she wouldn't get votes at a final tribal in any situation. I do think if she could maneuver herself to like take two drags with her i think she would be an obvious win i do i think it would be it's hard for her obviously sitting next to how many hard hitters she did sit next to right. so i think that's right. what everybody notices you know so but i do agree she should be on the list i do like her a lot yeah agreed yeah. so all right so that's 12 on the list we haven't had anybody get rejected um so far so <laughs> We'll see if that changes, but uh, Cam, your fourth pick. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get somebody rejected. <laughs> Owen yes. Knight. I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you, but he is on my list. I do love Owen Knight because, you know, he's like the Spencer of my mind, but I won't bring him up right now because hashtag Nightwatch, but let's go with someone else. <laughs> um, Ozzy. You can't deny Ozzy. Damn love him, love not- him or hate him. He is phenomenal fun to watch great at every challenge he's put into and had he just been under the radar a little more or things gone a little differently he probably would have won both south pacific and cook islands yeah i was just there there is a universe where that happened right i was just mentioning this to kevin before the recording but like ozzy is undoubtedly like a legend of survivor like everybody who has watched survivor before has probably heard of ozzy and like he came one vote away from winning against yule and then again if he wins that last challenge in south pacific he sweeps the jury um and so like and he's so good at challenges it's insane um, I think his two losses, he got blindsided with an idol in his pocket. He shouldn't have been so cocky in Micronesia, but like, oh, well, he still had people on his side. So like, you know, he wasn't a complete failure. Uh, and then Game Changers, I mean, is definitely his worst performance. Uh, but like all the big names were getting targeted super quickly on Game Changers. So like, again, I think the fact that he was able to make merge once again, like a testament to Ozzy. And uh, so, yeah, he absolutely deserves to be on this list, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for Ozzy being there. He was on, he was on the outskirts of my list um, just because I don't think he's necessarily the best strategist. Um, right. But yeah, he's, I mean, he's obviously a very good player. Uh, and has winner potential so yeah put him on there yeah do it sarah i'm sure you're agreeing obviously <laughs> say something ridiculous oh, for sure yeah i forgot i didn't say anything yeah i i love ozzy I, he's again he's like endearing watching him do challenges is just like so aesthetically pleasing just to see him Ooh. like it's like heroin watching him just like sl- go through water, you know. I've never done heroin to be clear for anyone, but just, he just it's amazing just to watch him and I I think he should have won for sure. But he I, hasn't. That's why he's on this list. I was watching with someone at one point and I was like, "Oh, Ozzy's going to win this challenge. Ozzy's a dolphin." Like <laughs> Yeah. When I like I- Sorry, as a survivor fan, like he just encapsulates everything that you look right. for in yeah. a castaway. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I forgot when I was making a list earlier this week, I forgot to put him on the list of best to never win. I wish I could go back and put him on there. Well, I guess I could, but um, because like absolutely a legend. And like, I, as you guys said, like even like Cook Island specifically, I remember like one of the challenges, like his team is super far behind and like he just does this very long sprint into a swim and like catches up like immediately. And it's like, how does he do this? And it's just amazing to watch. So yeah. 
Um, it, it's almost like uh, who was was it John in forty two who was just Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan, yeah. It's yeah. like those two can just carry their tribes regardless of what the challenge is, right? For sure. All right, uh, Sarah, I believe it's you next. Me, this one, gosh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how you guys will think about this one. That's this is the first one. I'm like, this one might not make it, but my pick would be Fishback. I, I do like him. I think he is very smart. I think he's likable. He was decent at challenges. Um, I think it was really smart. Him, he was able to form the, the core one-on-one -on -one bro thing, you know. And if he wasn't, I don't think if he was, if he wasn't sitting with him next at the end, I think anybody else he would have won. I really mm -hmm. do. Like, I just think he got outshined by a cute southern boy. Is what I think happened. You know. Otherwise, yeah. I think Fishback would have won. I think he's a really great player. Now, do I think? Would he go up towards the top of this 20 list? No, probably somewhere near the end. But I do think he at least deserves like somewhere at the bottom, if not like an honorable mention, because I think he just ended up getting outshined. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think Steven Fishback, I mean, we have to have the other half of the Survivor know-it-alls because like, again, Rob and Steven literally do their podcast together. So like, I, I Steven is like, I absolutely agree. I mean, JT, I think, has proven that um, strategically he just kind of throws crap at the wall and sees what sticks. And Steven was able to actually put logical, strategic thoughts into JT's brain and, like, actually enact them together as a duo. I don't think, clearly, JT couldn't have done it on his own. Um, so, like... I, and like his second chance game, I think Fishback was probably one of the bigger targets being one of the only runners up on that season. And like, there were literally people like Savage trying to drag Steven's name through the mud. Um, and cause Savage hates nerdy people. Um, and, uh, and what? I said, well, this is not the podcast for him then. Yeah, yeah, Andrew Savage would not be invited on this podcast. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just, I, I think, um, yeah, as I said, like, Steven it should be on this list, and, like, him getting zero votes against JT, unfortunately, like, shouldn't discredit him for being a really good player, so. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, he was great, and, like, thinking about that jury, too, like, that's the jury with, like, Coach, and like, Tyson, what that jury like roundtable discussion would be like? Oh my goodness! Because, so like, of course, the more like macho guy ended up winning that season. Like, shocker! Um, the warrior. Like, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, coach. But like, <laughs> if any of you plan on putting coach as your last pick, be prepared for a fight. Um, but like, yeah, he clearly was the brains of that operation and probably should have won instead of JT. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. During, um, yeah. At, during Token Sheens, it was so frustrating because I knew JT was going to win when mm -hmm. I was watching it because, like, they hit the merge. And I, I remember one of the first confessionals being like, if I don't win, I want JT to win. It's like, what? what? Why yeah. are you already saying that? It's like, I almost want to lose so that JT can win. It's like, stop. Stop right. this. Stop saying these things. Right. Uh, they they would have probably all fallen on their sword if JT was ever in danger. It was like his southern charm, just that cast was wrapped around his finger. Other than Fishback, who was like in in another like give it give Fishback another cast who doesn't know Fishback, he he probably gets to the end and wins. Yeah, yeah, but yep. he can't do that now because people know he's a strategic threat. And right, he's he's gonna talk his way at the end. So. Mm -hmm. I do like Fishback. He was on my list. I I agree yep. that Fishback is one of the greatest. Yeah, to play it not win. Yeah, he was on my list too. I don't know if you would, if he would make it up there high enough, you know, on your list. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he he deserves to be on the list. Um, hey, let's talk about Angelina. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not bringing her up. So, um, all right, I have a few picks. 
for my fourth pick. I'm, like, deciding where I want to go. Um, because, like, there's certainly paths we'd, we could go. All right. Um, I'm going to go with this pick. Um, well, I mean, I think we have to pick a person who literally, I mean, Kevin knows how it feels to go one vote short of winning after a tie. So let's go Dominic Abate from Ghost Island on the list. And, uh, I think Dominic really played one of the most dominant, uh, losing games in Survivor history. I mean... I mean, there's so many people arguing Dom should have won against Wendell, and uh, you can definitely see why. It's like, um, Dom did so many crazy strategic things. Like, I could, I actually would like to see Dom versus George, actually, because I really see you as the most harebrained schemes and things that they can pull off. Um, and, like, they would, I, I think that'd be really, really interesting. And, like, Dom is even able to, like, you know, he's able to call out, like, Chris Noble on, like, day one and is still able to, like, you know, come back from calling out the guy who's, like, the alpha male of the tribe. Like, that's awesome. So, I, uh, yeah, I'm going to put Dom on the list, hopefully, so. I would agree with that. I mostly agree with that because you, like, unintentionally were mean to Kevin and I loved it. It was really <laughs> It was really terrifying. Remember when you fucking lost to Mikey P? <laughs> oh. That was really good. So that made me happy. But yeah, I would agree. Dom's a powerhouse. I, I would agree. But I, I loved your comment about Kevin Moore. <laughs> it's not how I meant it, but it's funnier when you say it. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually now more on the side of this because of the comparison to Kevin losing the same way. <laughs> and <laughs> it is so funny because I I kind of spectated that season. Like I didn't pl like I played, but I, you know, I was mostly a spectator. And the whole time I was spectating, I was like, wow, Kevin is really going to win this. If only he can take Mikey P out. You know, and he like it's going to be a landslide if only he could do that. And then it's like, oh, they tied. He could I really don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> I knew, I knew when the vote was tied how that was going to end up. I knew Jenny was going to go vote and it's fine. Um, no, I would support him for the exact same reason because, um, yeah, I probably, I will still say that I should have won that season even though I like Mike. Um, so <laughs> he, he also should have won his season because I should have won my season, so it's fine. <laughs> At least you won the milestone mini now, so... Right, I need... So, yeah, Dom just needs to go win, like, a, a mini game somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I am I like Dom, though. He But, is... yeah, the, the fact... Yeah, the fact that he tied a jury, like... Yeah, he should be on the list. For sure. All right. Um, Kevin, your fourth pick, and we still have no rejections. I mean, you might fight me on this, but I will go down swinging. I'm going to say Chrissy from Heroes, Healers, and Hustlers because she should have won that season and production made the stupid twist that we're still dealing with for the fire making just so that Ben could make it to the end. Um, but she absolutely should have won that season. She was supposed to get voted out at one point, won immunity, flipped everything back into her favor, like took control of the game, was like had the numbers to take Ben out, won the final immunity so that she could take him out and then oh actually lol you didn't win immunity you won an advantage and the advantage is to know our stupid new twist so she absolutely should have won that and i mean i doubt she'll ever come back so that's why i would say chrissy that's a weird way to say Devin. <laughs> <laughs> no um i had both Devin and chrissy there and i figured whoever would be brought up first probably chrissy like, I will agree either way. They were, like, Chrissy was definitely the person who should have won. But I think Devin versus Chrissy would have been, like, that closer fight at the jury than if they had just let Ben get there like they did. Like, I wanted to see that fight between those two who would have won the season. I, but I, I think hope, Chrissy still wins. I hope in my mind that she would mop the floor with him because he would be too nice. 
I don't necessarily think that's what would happen, but that's what in my mind. That's what I, I envision. My golden retriever boys will win one day. Right? Like, he's just a nice, sweet, young chap, and she was going in for the kill. So I put my money on her in that final. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you support me. Um... Yeah, I mean, Chrissy is an interesting pick. I, I definitely agree that I think she would have been a better winner than Ben, but uh, <laughs> sadly, we got uh, something that is still talked about as possibly the most rigged uh, twist in Survivor history, uh, perhaps. <laughs> but uh, it's, yeah, it, it's... Uh, I, I think Chrissy, I think, struggled sometimes socially, but she was still very good at the challenges. She still uh, strategically did a lot of things right in that game. So I, I'm i fine with her being on this list. Kevin's after his cats. <laughs> Kevin's <laughs> holding a Nerf gun. and it's a, it's a super soaker. Oh, super soaker. Yeah, because he's about to jump up on top of the shelf that he knows he's not supposed to be on. Okay, yeah, it is, yeah. That's, that's a thing, too. Yeah, I think, Chrissy, I can't personally say, I don't think I can have an opinion too much. That's one of those seasons that, like, I was just, like, where it's, like, predictable, and I'm just, like, blah, I just kind of push it to the back of my mind. There's, like, so many other people in seasons that come to the forefront that I don't feel like I can have a just opinion on it. Oh, kitty. Yeah. Another kitty. Uh, kitty cat. Yeah, like... I was not super into that season as a whole, and then to watch it end like that was so aggravating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I just, you just feel it coming from so early on. I'm just like, what? Robbed. Robbed Queen. Rob Sesternino'd. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess you find me, because I, I would have taken you all out. <laughs> well, I, I, I would have, I wanted her over Ben, so, like, <laughs> that would have... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, Cam, your fifth pick, potentially your last pick on the list, if you can get it to pass through. I almost want it to just fail so I can say more people, because I have so many more on the list. <laughs> um, so maybe I should just throw out one that will, like a Troy Zan, you know? <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, please do. Yeah, you want you want you want. Are you actually going to throw out Troyzan? Troyzan should have won Game Changers because yes, he should have. I think a hundred percent of the time Troyzan wins Game Changers. It, I, I don't think. What? I didn't like Sarah. Cameron, no. I'm sorry. I love Troy Zan. and when I was first getting Victoria as a survivor and we watched One World like we still make the joke like he can't be called Tarzan I'm Troy Zan. and it just makes me laugh and listen I think listen, it's gonna be a no so if you keep, he if was you close keep... in One World he was close in Game Changers like that's a pretty good player to not win Okay, I will say, I picked Troyzan to win One World originally, but Kim absolutely just dominated. Um, but everybody else was too stupid to listen to Troyzan when he was actually talking sense. Um, but Game Changers, like, I think he overcorrected because he was trying to play completely socially and, and, like, you know, not be as loud and out there. But absolutely, Troyzan should not have won Game Changers. That is such an interesting take and for that i just i'm sorry even though i like i had troy Zan in one world that i really liked i just i can't put him on the top 20 i'm sorry i'm going down it's a no it's a no cameron Wait, a are no. you not entertained by troy Zan? I, I was entertained but i don't think he's a top 20 non-winner I have, I have, I, listen, I can list off a whole bunch of people because I wrote them all down before this. A whole bunch of people above him. Is Owen Knight on that list? <laughs> Is who? Owen Knight. No, there's only be. one new era person on there. And it's Jesse? No. Wow. How is it not Jesse? Because I'm just, cause, cause all right. it's, I only put one new era person and it's my favorite person who has one. Oh, uh, probably Carolyn. Ding, yeah. ding, ding. All right, Sarah, any thoughts on Troy Zan? Are you going to 
just thumbs down this one as well. <laughs> I agree. I don't think like on this list per se. Maybe like maybe on the like lower lower honorable mentions. I do agree. I'm a good. I love a good character. I love someone that makes me want to watch them. They make it fun. You know, it it just makes me want to watch. You know, so yeah, I would I would put him on a list somewhere for sure. All right, somebody goes with coach. With yeah, I'll coach is my last pick for sure, just for Kevin. <laughs> so you're going to coach on the list, Sarah. <laughs> okay, we're we getting another rejection in a row. I don't. I I'm just wondering from Kevin's perspective. Oh, is it my turn? No, yeah, I don't. Think well, she was being serious. Oh no, you're not being serious. Sorry, I thought you were being serious no. just because you wanted to screw with Kevin. No, I would. I do love Coach. I I think. I do think Coach is great. I mean, if you get to the end, you deserve it in some capacity. So, like, I think all, everybody who gets to the end deserves to win a little bit in their own right, for sure. He's just, he's a wee bit crazy. I would love to talk to him. But <laughs> I, um, I think my, my pick, I do have a new era one. It was a tie between an old era and him. Um, first, I was going to say Chelsea from One World. I really liked her. But it, compared to Kim, she just got outshot. So I was like, but, so my final pick will be, I really like Xander Hastings. I really like him. I th I think and this comes, it might be like a bias thing because I think he was just so sweet and endearing. He was really good at challenges. I think he was more strategic than what he was shown. I think he was given that age edit compared to the edit they gave Eric. Because, like, even though I like Erica, that's great. Like, I just don't really, like, uh, I'm just not, like, thrilled at her winning, you know? I don't know. It's, maybe it's just me. Okay, so with Xander, I heard, it's been talked about in post-game, like, Xander got such a good edit that, like, pumped him up, and, like, everybody talked about how he really didn't have any agency in 41, and I did like Xander. I like Xander as a character. Um, I liked it when watching that season, but I mean, the jury thought Erica had way more agency and Erica just got a really bad at it in that season. So I don't, I don't know. I, I, I have to disagree on Xander being a top 20 non-winner. I, I just don't, I don't think he this is coming from too is like, just like a bad edit on the winner's part. Cause I can totally yeah. agree with that. Like, I just, there was something about it that, like, I mean, what, she's fine as a person, but just the edit on the show, yeah. it's like, well, what did you do, though, you know, so. Right. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn because from watching the episodes, I would say, I would, I, I would say yes, um, but from knowing what I know outside of the episodes, I don't know that I could say yes. Okay, and I don't know a lot outside the right. episodes. Like, right, it's, it's just that, it's just like what they're right. Yeah, he just got a really good edit. Like he wasn't actually that okay. good. Okay. While I was watching Forty One, it was like I was so invested because we had just come back from that break of not having Survivor for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I was like so invested in everything that they were posting. So all the post interviews, the exit interviews, and like when they hit the merge, like everyone talked about Xander in their exit interviews. Like he he was just not even a threat. Nobody cared if he was going nobody cared he had advantages like it was so clear watching it live that from my perspective like sander was not going to win he was he was the goat but then when i went on twitter afterwards and everyone was exploding i was like did you watch the same season i watched because xander <laughs> that's was yeah. never gonna win yeah the the but facebook like, people like there was the there was the moment where like he tells evie not to play the idol and he's right and like there, there were so many like loud things that he got edited that like I from watching the episodes I would say yes like like that character that they portrayed like absolutely could have and maybe should have won but like this comes down to like the new era just being kind of messy like I know that that's I I know that that's not true even though like I get that I know that it's not true. Okay. Yeah, I guess from, uh, yeah, just from watching it, just the show standpoint thing, because I don't know half the shit you guys are talking about. So we're rejecting Xander then? I'm ejecting Xander. All right. I, I can't support Xander. It's a one and a half to two and a half. Sorry, Sarah. Okay. That's right. Let's put Bob from Gabon there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, let's put sugar. Uh, well, all right. Well, it's my pick. Someone else can try putting sugar. We'll see if that how that goes. Um, all right. I'm gonna go with an interesting pick. I'm just gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna put Hayden Moss, Blood versus Water. Uh, Hayden was a Big Brother winner coming into the game, and he was able to navigate a tribe that was a train wreck at the beginning. Um, and then get in an alliance with Tyson and Jervis and ride along with that until they could try to successfully make a move. Unfortunately, it failed because Sierra blew them up. Um, and then, but then Hayden was able to try and recover and force a rock draw, convince Sierra to flip. And then unfortunately the rock draw didn't go their way and he still never stopped fighting. So I, I think Hayden is a, a really solid player. It's kind of a bummer. We have not seen Hayden play again, but I mean, I think the show, because he won big brother that they're, they are treating it like he had a second shot on a show. So. Yeah. He wouldn't have made my short list, but I do agree with your arguments. Um, if that, if that rock draw goes differently, uh, if he convinces Sierra one round sooner, God. Yeah. yeah, like there, if just like one or two things go differently, yeah, he, he probably does win that season. Although Tyson is an amazing winner, so I'm not going to hate on him for that. Well, yeah. Um, and he obviously has the ability to win a game because he did win a game. He won Big Brother. So, right. uh, yeah, I would, I would support your arguments. That's, that's fine. I'm going to disagree with those. Like, I, I don't think on a list of huge people, like, he would make, he would make the cut for me. Just, I did like him on Big Brother, I guess. Like, he was fine. On Survivor, I think what ruined it for me, because he came with Cat, didn't he? Yeah, he came with Cat. <laughs> I, I think Cat ruined it for me for Hayden. And just like some things, like like you said, if some things were different in Perfect World, like maybe, but like just from what I saw, I was I just I can't. <laughs> Who wants to date someone that doesn't make the merch? I'm going to agree with Sarah that I don't think on a list of twenty, Hayden makes my cut. Like maybe a list of forty, but I and I like Hayden. I I think Hayden was my front runner when I was watching the season. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, I don't think Hayden really would have won in some of those scenarios. But I would like to see him come back and play again. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's one of the best to never win. Fair enough. Like I think when you put it like that, you you do convince me. Like. Top 20 ever? Yeah. I, I knew it was my, like, big, like, launch shot, but I had to try this time, so I'm fine with it getting rejected. We've gotten three rejections in a row here. Rejections in a row. Ooh, I better choose carefully for this next one. Hmm. Yeah, whatever Kevin says, no, I say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my personal list, I would say Carolyn or Steph. Because I love Steph. I don't know if you guys are going to. And we already... There is, there's no one else from the new era on here yet, though. Um, I would agree with Karen, though. I love her. I love Karen. I... Like... Karen, <sighs> you stay I love Carolyn? I like Steph I more than Carolyn. Or is, or is Carolyn not going to get... You know what? I could also, like, go to my, like, second tier... And pick it one that is like an easier sell, more palatable. Well, in in Aubrey, because Aubrey was the expected winner of Po Wrong. Right. Right. Like going into that, you expect her to win. Um, she multiple times lost her number one ally, like recovered, came back, fights all the way to the end. Was like the super like one of those people who like gets out there. Wasn't she one of the people like, oh my god, I'm getting sunburned. Like this is terrible. Like she was having like panic attacks, so she hated it. And then she adapted. Right. So like she had the storyline. She had everything there. Just 
Michelle got the jury, probably because there were some jerks on that jury, but like, yeah, yeah. I would 100% agree with that. So sure. she could have and arguably should have won. Um, and then she came back for, for second chances, or wait, Game Changers. Came back for Game Changers, made it to, what, top five? Yeah. And then came back for Edge of Extinction, and just, they already knew who she was. Yeah. You know, like, they just weren't giving her a chance. Yeah. I love that vote out, where they vote her out in EOE. Like, I go, it's probably my most rewatched Tribal Council of all time. Like, the the music, like, her reaction, thinking that, it, like, 100% it's going to be Wendy. So she's, like, looking at her, like, oh, sorry, that was my vote, you know. It's just, like, to see her face drop and, like, the rest of the cast kind of just, like, oh, living it. I love that vote. Oh, so, yeah. But, I mean, like, I'm a Thai stan, so... <laughs> Boo, Aubrey. I'm just kidding. Dang. Hmm? Okay. So is, so are you putting Aubrey in? Um... So are you, you're agreeing with Aubrey? I am agreeing with Aubrey. I, I agree with Aubrey in terms of, like, I, I think her next two times, like, I think she... I mean, she still made Final Five and Game Changers, um, and then, I mean, Edge of Extinction, obviously she was a target from the beginning. Unfortunately, she's just got... She's not done as well since her first time uh but she's still a good player and like i mean again the internet still debates to this day whether michelle or aubrey deserve to win koran so uh even though i mean michelle is by far the better player because she's made it to the end both times she's played but like um yeah i i agree with aubrey being on this list for best to not win for sure Oh my gosh! All of my all of my choices made it. I never mind. Got rejected. Never mind. Let's boot, let's reject one. <laughs> Sarah, you get to pick. Okay. Back to Cam. Cam, try again. Really? Okay. Should I go with another one? I just like talking to you guys. So yeah, go for it. Owen, I I'm just gonna keep saying it. <laughs> what What about like Andrea? You know? Oh, I thought you were gonna pick Owen. Yeah. No, because I don't. Kevin's gonna try and rip me a new one. I don't want to talk badly about Owen because he's amazing. So I'm I like Owen as a person. List. But I actually, I actually wouldn't say anything bad about. It. I just don't like that season. Yeah. So wait, are you picking Andrea then? Now? No. No, I'll, I'll go with Owen. The okay. best underdog story to date. The best student of the game. Like, yes, he was on the outside of almost every vote. He hardly voted correctly, but man, did he make it to the end, and man, did he make me want him to win. I love Owen. Fantastic underdog. Great edit. Charlie Brown kicker for the rest of my life. Listen, I I will say this. I just don't like that season as a whole. I just don't like it. Um, but would you like it better if Owen won vote, over Gabler? Going into that final tribal council, I was rooting for Owen because... The other two had been shown to be delusional throughout the season. So, like, I don't know why one of the other two who had been delusional got to win. Why did they do that? Um, but Owen was the person that I I was like, once they got to the final three, I was like, oh, well, then it's going to be Owen. So while I don't like that season and therefore will not support anything that comes from it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, that was the person I was rooting for in that final three. So you, sure. know, you know what would really spite that season, Kevin? Is putting one of the best to never win the runner-up. <laughs> oh, I just... I just don't like any of it. Like, uh, I guess Jesse, Jesse and Cody are good, but even, like, I knew Cody... I knew watching from, like, the first episode Cody wasn't going to win. Come on. I just wasn't a fan of that season. It's fine. <laughs> But you have to go, Sarah. Yes, I have to put my kids away. No worries. Give us someone to fight over. Quietly. Yeah. Quietly. Give us someone to talk yeah. about for you. Yeah. Um. Oh, talk about for me. You want me to pick someone? Oh gosh. Okay. I put my list away. Shit. Final regards. Let's see. Final regards. Last person. Well, coach for sure. Um, well, obviously. <laughs> Oh gosh, there's so many. And Kamini Ben Wade. 
Yeah. Benjamin. It's all about Benjamin. Coach Benz. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, that's so tough because there's just so many now. I really, I would say Caroline though, because like so many people just underestimated her and that's, I don't know. And that's where it's like mm, on a top 20 though. That's, that's tough. I just really like her as a character, but she, everybody underestimated her and she understood the, what she was doing the entire freaking game. Like, Yes. And I, I love that about her. I love the her animated face, but like again, it's like oh, do I love that more than her gameplay, but she really just stood out to me. She's very memorable and I, I would say Carolyn. Sarah, you can go put your kids to bed because I will argue for her all by myself because I would absolutely agree. Um I thought going off final tribal that she was going to win. Like I don't understand I do. why they made her seem like the amazing player she was to be a zero vote finalist, but I'm glad that we got yeah. it because she was great. And like the fact that she was also like, as much as she was crazy, she was in tune to the game. Like yeah. she was aware at times of like, like, oh, why are you saying this yeah. around me? Like, what's like, what do you think? I'm not here. Do you think I'm not smart enough to do anything with it? Like she, yeah. she was. So I will absolutely agree with that. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes to Carolyn. I would yeah, I agree. love her, but it was a pleasure being a part of this. I definitely want to do this soon. Yeah, we'll keep doing it. Talk to you guys later. Talk to you later. Okay, we we still have to uh, talk about whether we're gonna accept Owen, and I will say I'm rejecting Owen. I'm sorry, Cam. I I don't. I think there's that we kind of like let him skate through by jumping <laughs> jumping players there. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you made it. <laughs> I I just I think the better player to not win we didn't we mentioned but did not put in to discuss which is jesse i think but um for owen i will not be jesse jesse's the best player from that season but he's also like carla was a great player but then she like like she was another one who was like like jake like literally falling apart yeah like she couldn't even like hang the pieces onto the puzzle the one she knew where they went like you, you lift this like couple ounce piece of wood lady like, mm -hmm. so yeah i would say do i think jesse deserved to win that season i do i just don't like the season overall so i'm not going to say him um so, yeah but like i was rooting for owen but i listen if owen's out owen's out that's fine by me okay i get it i just you know the more talk about him the better because i he's my favorite player of the new era is anyone going to try to to say Carolyn shouldn't be on the list because Carolyn shouldn't be on the list because someone has to say it and give another reason. And no, no, I, I absolutely adore Carolyn. I was very frustrated at the edit she only got while she was at the final tribal council because they shoved Carolyn down our throats the entire season. And it wasn't even like, she did a lot of like she did play strategically but you were mostly getting cuts of her being aware of her surroundings aware of how these people are talking about her and planning these things and she was relatable like she was just like this like uh grenade thrown into the game yes like in that first interview like you immediately bond with this character and you see her kind of like live everyone's dream like she was a fan in the way so many of us are that she's just out there kind of like having fun being herself and like just letting the whole island life kind of absorb into her with her little crab claw on her hair and stuff yeah and that's why when we got to the final tribal council i thought she was gonna sweep and decimate these people I thought, and then i thought it was gonna be her and jam jam like going at it and it was just like she was silent yeah, yeah. And like nobody as was asking the questions every time i watch it i'm like they they talk to the other two and just like completely ignore her and it's what she said all season is like people were just ignoring her because they didn't care about what she had to say but she was literally brilliant and had they asked her the right questions she would have been able to present the game she played and won 100 percent of the time yeah. but they just didn't do that and it's also why i hate the new jury format right where they don't go up and address like they just sit there and have a conversation and that's not that's, that's not, how, not how you do it. I would love a jury for a murder trial. That's not how it works. Right. <laughs> um, I, I hate it. I think Carolyn should be on the list. I think she not only is a great character, but as you guys said, she very much was in tune with how the game was going. She just 
I think the new jury format probably most definitely did screw her over in this case and the fact that Jam Jam is just this sociable, charming person that is just going to thrive with Jam Jam is great. Let yeah. them, like I'm not bad mouthing Jam Jam. Jam Jam's great. Right. right. Like and how many times I mean, how many times in our in our group chat would we be watching the episodes and I'd be like, I am Jam Jam, Jam Jam is me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His like dramatic overreactions to things as like relatable. Love Jam Jam, but like I was on board the Carolyn train. Yeah, yeah. And, like to have it swept out from underneath me was like, oh, how dare you? Yeah, yeah. I agree. I would throw Carolyn up there. Yes. All right. All right. So that's. So I think is that eighteen, Jake? Yes, that is eighteen. So you and I, it gets to come around to you and I again. All right. All right, Jake. Okay. So. I mean, I'm debating whether to include the other non-winning member of the Tika 3, but I don't know if that's going to pass through. Um, or, I mean, I the other debate is certainly to throw in another fallen angel that I think got Jeff to want to do the fire forced fire making. I think I'll go with that one, because I think he probably should be on there, and we've mentioned the other edge returnees um, in some way in this podcast. Uh, I got to pick David Wright and for Millennials versus Gen X. I think David really played a dominant game in that season. A lot of people were thinking David was going to win till he got the rug pulled out from under him right at the very end. I mean, that entire jury was definitely going to vote for David to win the game uh, against anybody. And so, um, yeah, I, and what he did with the idols and everything was pretty, pretty smart. So. Listen, Cam, I'm gonna let you go ahead because if you're gonna if you're gonna agree with Jake, then I'm just gonna let it go. If you're gonna disagree with Jake, then I'm gonna I'm gonna pile on. So you go ahead, you go first. Wow. Um I'm not gonna agree with Jake. Dang. I like David. I do, but he was kind of a train wreck, and they were gonna solely vote for him from his transformation from day one to the end. And it wasn't like a like, you can watch the exact same story with George, where he was kind of like this mess that people were kind of like, why is he even here? Right. But he became a god by the end, you know? And David just kind of got there. And, like, he he did make great moves. But I also even say, I like Jay more in Millennials versus Gen X. I, I liked Jay's game more. But he did get cut earlier. So David, yes, would have swept the jury had he gotten there. But for reasons that... I wouldn't put him in my top 20. And he was very entertaining in Edge of Extinction, too. I was like, oh, of these <laughs> four, I could really see David pulling through. And it's a shame he didn't. But I feel like what I said was going to be tame to whatever this piling on is. No, 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 no. But so, I could be convinced to put him in the top 20. I'm so, on the fence. So here's what I would say. I would say if you guys really liked him, if you both agreed that he was great, then like, sure, whatever. That top 20, like in 45 seasons, a top 20 non-winner, like, yeah, come on. Like, he's just, he's good, sure. Like, lots of people are good. Like, you think he's one of the best to never win? Like, really and like millennials versus gen x was kind of not the best season so like okay he was gonna win that he was gonna win a jury with sunday and chris good for him like <laughs> okay really good so job <laughs> so like listen if you guys both were like in love with him and like want like i yes, didn't say i was in like, love with david i thought he was that's what i'm saying like <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, sure, you can have, but like, to be on the top twenty in uh, in the hundreds of people that have played this game, like to be in the top twenty non-winners. Dang. All right, I'm fine with getting rejected at this point. I guess I don't know. That was good. <laughs> I like when Kevin gets a little passionate there, or, you know, a little fire in his. <laughs> you want a jury? Wouldn't want a jury of Sunday and Chris? Uh, 
I didn't even know where that sentence was going when I started it, but it ended so great. All right, so listen, we're on a, we're on a reject streak here. So if you guys want to reject this, like, go for it, fight me. Um, one of my favorite people is Steph. I'm saying Steph. Stephanie um, Labrosa. Stephanie Labrosa. She she was on the Curse Tribe her first season, but was the last one standing from it, and wasn't immediately voted out when she got absorbed by the other tribe. So props to her game there. But like, was she ever? Were they ever going to let her get to the end? Of course they were. Um, and even if they did let her get to the end, would she have won that when the entire jury was the other tribe? No. So like, she just, as great as she was that season, was never going to win it. Um, and then in Guatemala, like, I really liked her in Guatemala. Like, I, I have understood people's complaints in retrospect, but I really liked her. Like, I she also was from Jersey and had gone to Temple. She didn't graduate from Temple, but she went to Temple. And I was going to school at Temple while she was there. Or while I was going while she was on the show. I was going to Temple while she was on the show. So, like, I was rooting for her. I've met her in real life. She's real cool. So, um, listen, you can argue with me all you want. Um, I think, like, she clearly played a great game in Guatemala to get to the end, especially when Bobby John was also there and did not get to the end. Although Bobby John's kind of an idiot. Um, Dude's a spaz. <laughs> <laughs> but like she had to outplay good players to get there you know like she had other people she had to work around she did manage to get there she kind of snaked some people and that's probably why she lost yeah i i'll say stephanie lagrosa is still a legend of the game i mean she was on the most legendary season as well i mean i know a couple of people were on there and and probably still aren't legends but like <laughs> danielle yeah. or candace yeah <laughs> Um, but, like, I, I think Stephanie LaGrosa re really is, like, a solid Survivor player, um, and, like, again, I think Heroes vs. Villains, her going early that one time is a lot of it due to, like, pregame alliances and, like, Micronesia alliance on the Heroes tribe, and, like, they were just gonna be targeting her and Tom from the start, so, yeah. um, I... I think her Guatemala game is good, but I can see why she lost. Um, but it was still a good, a good strategic game and she played hard. So I'll agree with it. I think she's a survivor legend. She should be on this list. Probably. I also have Stephanie on my list. <laughs> I like Stephanie and I watched when I got like back into survivor, I started watching backwards because I was like, let's go HD back. And I really did think she was going to win Guatemala when I was watching it because of how no, it was edited. But that was too um, Danny's strategy, I guess, was to avoid a lot of that limelight. Yeah. But that also made me want Stephanie to win even more because she, yeah. she was so in our faces. And it was like right after you watch her kind of outlast like, her tribe. Yes. And like yeah. she deep got, and like, and she then got to like, have oh. the experience that she was robbed of from being on the curse tribe the season before yeah like i'm also just i think tom is one of my like top five least favorite winners i don't like tom i don't, so I don't like him but it, but it, it is made me like cool. stephanie and ian more and then to watch stephanie yep. finally get to the end right after and then and then not win it was like ah ah and then she gets voted out of the second in Heroes vs. Villains and plugs a restaurant at the <laughs> finale, which I was like, that's my girl. Like, Jeff, she knew Jeff was probably going to ask her one question. She's like, check my brother out. You know, I was like, bank it. Bank it, girl. Get that money. The queen of food. But yeah, uh, Jake, I don't want to hear anything about that Tom comment because I know it's not familiar to everyone. I just don't like that kind. Well, I understand. I, I, I know it's not like something that's loved by everyone and also i mean like there's been people who have played a similar game to tom and been insufferable so like i get that but i think tom did it great so. someone like tom had to win eventually and i'm glad that we just got it out of the way and it was tom over someone else <laughs> like tom well and i think if we decide to talk about australian survivor in the future that first season has a tom westman like player who ends up losing so lee yeah I think Lee, I think, Lee? I, I, I mean, liked I Lee, Lee, but Lee randomly found me on Instagram, followed me and like likes all of my posts. Lee, 
Lee from Survivor Australia. Yes. Wow. Like Love randomly Lee. one day I was, I think I like hashtag something Survivor and he must've seen it and liked it. And then he started following it and he is like, every time I post something, I'm like, why does this random Australian Survivor winner like, Her like, runner this, up. like random, yeah. random, um, like Floridian cross. So you said like, winner, he did not win. <laughs> he finished second to Christy. Yeah. Poor Whatever. Lee. Whatever. I really thought Lee was going to win. I but yeah, that's that's for another podcast. Final tribal council speeches of all time took place. So. Yeah, I mean, I I just argue that I would say that people were did not want like a Tom Westman style game to win that season. So he was great in All Stars too, and I would have liked. To see oh, that I I I, and I will say I liked Lee, but yeah anyway that's for a different podcast yeah. different podcast <laughs> different podcast for a different time unless you want to include lee now no no i i i don't know that lee Nobody fits on this okay all right um so we've got one more spot yeah it's it's back to cam isn't it it's back to cam back to cam i didn't think we'd get here I have one, two, three, four possibilities left of people who, um, I, who I had in mind. Not who I would support, but people who I had in mind. I think I've almost name dropped everyone on my list for the most part. Like we have touched on them. <clears> so <throat> there's someone we haven't touched on from a season that I'm surprised we haven't touched on because I, for probably being one of the best seasons in the last 20 seasons, it has one of my least favorite winners. David versus Goliath. Oh, oh, oh. Christian Hibiki should have won. If, oh. If he gets there. I love Christian. I like Christian as a character. Never win. I, I think Christian's great as a character. I will say, I and it's, like, hard to do because, like, I mean, by that point, everybody was so aware of, like, the nerdy type on survivor of how well they do and just like christian i don't know like i guess he could have managed his threat level better but it's like a hard thing to do um and also i think he made a huge mistake by agreeing to vote godfather carl off um and like piss people off and like waste the david's numbers that they worked hard to get but like I mean, Christian still is a, I think is a good player. I think I'd, I'd love to see him back for a second shot. Of course, it's, uh, I, I thought you were going to go with the actual runner up of the season that probably should have won David versus Goliath and Mike White. Mike White. I love Mike White, but I'd still say Christian was a better player than Mike White. I, I mean, I Mike White, I, you're right. I would totally throw Mike White on this list if it wasn't, if it couldn't be Christian. I'd do Mike White. Yeah, I mean, I like Christian. I, I want to hear what Kevin has to say and then we, make We've decision. talked about my hot take on David versus Goliath that it's just not my favorite season. I just not. I haven't heard this hot take. Yeah, we, this is the season I suggest to people who have never watched the same reaction when we ranked the seasons. You, had, you were like, how dare you, Kevin? How dare you? <laughs> Yeah, Cam, we ranked high, and Kevin opposed us. I'm canceling our sleepover, Kev. <laughs> the season as a whole, like, like, there's so many people there that I'm like, but you were never going to win. The one woman who never won a challenge was never going to win. Christian was never going to win. His nerdy girlfriend was never going to win. Like, Don't so you say that about Gabby. And, like, Angelina was right, but was never going to win. Like, She sacrificed it, rice for her tribe, or... Right, like, so there was just so many things that I was, like, I was watching, I was like, this whole season is so It was so like, fun. It was such a good season. It, it like, stands it above the rest in, like, that area. In that area? I mean, I... I and guess, the whole I, cast, while you may say, yeah, this person would have never won, was so entertaining. Like, who, they were okay, good. Who was... So, I don't even remember most of their names. So, it was Christian, his nerdy girlfriend, Gabby. the wrestler, and they were the brochachos. And then, oh, Davey, the blurred. Mm -hmm. um, Wonder Woman who never won a challenge. Mike, Angelina. Who, and who, who, who won it? Oh, Nick, what, Nick. That's what I said. I said I hate yeah. the winner. Nick, who had no business being a winners at war. That's right. Oh, I know. Yeah, the, um. Humans have been better. Ugh, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
and didn't. I think he would have been. So many people would have been better than it. So like that season. So like, listen. Again, I'll go back to if you guys, if you think that Christian's that good, I think that some people who made it closer to the end, made it closer to winning, um, deserve a higher placement. But like, I not enough. I, it's like it's one of those things that like I I don't care. It's like it's not even I hate it. It's just a lack of care. Like I just don't care about it. Like you know that thing that's like the opposite of love isn't hate. It's like indifference. It's that. Like it's indifference. So like I'm indifferent towards the season. So if you guys think that someone from that season should be on the list, then okay, sure. Because I don't care. <laughs> oh, he's just so fun. I love Christian. He was never gonna win. And yes, like, he, he was. was. He was never. Had, gonna... had it gone differently, he gets to the end with like Gabby and Carl. He wins. But he chose to vote Carl out. Let's see. And I know we've all made bad decisions. You all voted me out. Shut up. Hey, hey, I, I voted you out. I saved you. What? I saved. I didn't you. even no, play no, with no, you. Kevin. Yes, you did, Jake. <laughs> okay, a mini where I didn't even actually get to play with you. I don't think that counts. You're right. And you know what? <laughs> It's fine. We don't have to put Christian on the list, but he deserved an honorable mention from me. Yeah, I mean, I like Christian, like I said, but he made too many mistakes to be a top 20 non-winner, I think. We all make mistakes. Again, I've made mistakes and I won, so I agree. <laughs> Listen, as the only person eligible for the best to never win in this conversation... <laughs> I know it would have been me a few weeks ago. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Thanks. Thanks. It was my number. <laughs> okay. I guess we can move on to the next person for you guys because yeah. for me, I mean I'm I'm worried both of these guys are gonna get rejected. Well he said guys, so I'm already woo. <laughs> He's gonna say woo. No, I, I'm going to say um the man who made one of the most interesting deals in Survivor history. I'm talking about Yao Man Chan. Give me Yao Man. Ooh. I I'm a huge Yao Man supporter in Fiji. Um, I my college fraternity. One of the bright spots is that I got some of my my friends uh, and brothers at the time uh, to watch Fiji, and they cheered on Yao Man and were super devastated when he lost after the car deal happened which in hindsight again yeah man knew what deal he was making and knew the risks and dreams i mean made the right move because he didn't fall on a sword for yeah man but like um i just i but like yeah man just really played a solid game for someone who like could have easily been seen at the time as like a liability and really turned that into his strength right. and him and earl really ran that season for the most part and so like you know i i i know micronesia didn't go that well um i mean i think he was always going to be on Suri's hit list um just like Suri knew everybody on that tribe how they played and everything um and because she's such a great player that she was always going to pinpoint yao man sooner or later um if he was the best then he would have done the same thing lol <laughs> yeah i know i mean I, I think Yao Man had a big, out of the favorites tribe, I think he had one of the biggest targets going in on that tribe. So, um... I think he had, I think he had one of the worst combinations of, like, threat to asset ratio. Mm -hmm. um, I will not argue against Yao Man. What I would say is that if I get a next pick, it's going to be Gavin, Reg of Extinction, so because I'm looking at who I I'm looking at who's on my like leftover list. So if we say no, then that's who we get. That's that's the next choice. Because Gavin should have won. Should have arguably won that season. But I I agree Gavin should have won. Just based on mm -hmm. everything. Like Gavin played the game. Like he played He played the full thirty nine days. Right. You know? Right. And like it's just a shame that somebody gets to bond with the entire jury right for 90% right. of the season exactly so i'm not going to say no to yao man i'm saying if we don't pick yao man that's just coming next cam 
the thing is, is like, uh, I love Yao Man. I love the card deal. I love how he played. You know, he was deceptive in a time when it was not cool to be a deceptive, backstabby player. Right. And he put somebody who he knew had to take this car. Right. You know, like he manipulated Dream's situation in his life rather than just an in-game move. Right. Like this was outside the game. It was like, hey, I will give you this. But in this crazy scenario where we're both in the final four, you win immunity, you give it to me. Like it's like, how do you say no to that deal? But then like Dreams just should have threw himself out of that challenge. You know what I mean? Oh, just yeah. I mean, that's probably the better move. Because <laughs> you're probably being taken to the end anyway. You know? Yeah, I guess. Don't let it be on your hands. Yeah, but I agree. Oh, I do love Yao. I love Yao. He was, he was my boy that season. But top twenty, I don't know. I I was I just worried. I would reject Gavin too. So interesting. Wow. I either way, I'm unhappy with who this is going <laughs> to be. I would say so. My my only thing about Yao Man is kind of thinking back is how much of that cast was was recruits yeah i understand that so is yao man great in that season or is yao man great and that's what i don't know right yeah is he great all the time or is he great because that was a season with a lot of recruits and it was easy to play around them you know i'm a team mookie guy all the way. I loved Mookie. Michelle Yee. I don't know why. Oh, the queen. I love Michelle Yee. Oh, the queen I of getting screwed bad. over by a bad twist. Yes, by a stupid twist. I can't believe that Brenda's on this list. Anyways. <laughs> I can't either. But... <laughs> uh, we can move her off this list, but... Jake jumped on that so quick. I don't think she's a top 20 player either, but... Just because there's some things on the table, Andrea is a good 20th spot here. I I guess. I mean, I I like Andrea. I, I could see it. I don't know. I'm just... Here's like... the thing. Here's the thing. Andrea is always going to have a difficult time because they know how much of a threat she is. So she's yeah. always going to, like, in that mid-merge phase, she's always going to have a hard time. And, like, her best shot was her first season, which was also, like, the season that it was, like, the Boston Rob fan cast. Mm -hmm. um, like, the Boston Rob fan club just, like, ran it. So, like, she actually didn't have a chance then. But, like... You could put her on 10 more times and she's going to struggle every time just because they're all going to be like, oh, wait a minute, we're at the top eight and Andrea's still here? Oh, that can't happen. Okay, how about this? Wait, so are we, are we rejecting Yao Man then? I think we're, I think we're roundtabling all three, Yao Man, Gavin, and What Andrea. if we okay. just forget about Gavin? Because... <laughs> Victoria from Edge of Extinction would have totally won if she got to the end. If she got to the end, but here's the thing. So here's here's my argument for Gavin, is that if not for the twist, right? So let's say Chris doesn't come back. Let's say it's a typical jury, or let's say let's say Devin's went earlier. Chris does win the final. Chris gets voted out because they know he's friends with the jury, and so now it's it's what Julie. Gavin and Lauren. Lauren? No. I think that's the... before that. The... I think Lauren. Victoria went out before Lauren, so that would have been. Not Lauren actually back, different Lauren. Lauren was uh, friends with Wentworth the whole time. Yeah, Lauren. Oh, no. no. whatever. It was her. It was her. Fainting she... Lauren. Yeah. yeah. So listen. Anyway, the point is, Gavin, if he played that game most seasons, plays a winning game. Right, like a jury would pick him. He never got vote. Didn't he not get any votes the whole time? Yeah, right? Gavin never got a vote against him. There. 
which is a great strategy. Like also as someone that never got a vote against them in season six. So I know what that's like to not get a vote against you. So that would be my, my point to Gavin is that any other season, you don't have somebody who like was from the jury now being judged by the jury. Like you don't have that. And so Gavin wins like, when I was watching, when I was watching it, I sat there knowing Gavin was going to lose, thinking Gavin should win. Right. Like, he should right. win. Right. But I know he's going to lose because of his circumstances, which is so right. frustrating. Exactly. But that's my, that's my I also, for Gavin. I wasn't entertained by Gavin. You know, like, he wasn't an entertaining player to watch. But I also, when I watched that season... I'm my sights are on other people. Like I'm cheering on Victoria. I'm cheering on Rick. I'm cheering not on Wardog. Um, yeah, I was cheering. On, but I was cheering on the girls, Vic, Lauren, and yeah, Lauren. loved Lauren, loved Kelly, loved David. Like all these people. And then, you know, I liked Gavin. He was on my draft list. That season, was he, so I was. Wasn't like, he part? Of, wasn't he part of the group that that blindsided Aubrey too? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. yes, yes he was. Yes, he was. Yeah. Listen, but he, see, when when they do that, it's Victoria turning around and winking at them all because she was kind of like her plan to do it. We're rocking the toque in Fiji like a badass. But anyways, I would rather go to Gavin than Yao Man is what I would say. I I, I see the arguments for Gavin, so like I I'm not. Could we do Yaovin? Yaovin. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what that would look like, and I I don't know. I no I I'm I'm okay with. I mean, like obviously, I guess we're fighting. At, I guess Cam, you're the swing vote. So if you pick Gavin, then that's what it is. I like we're, we're okay, fighting. Jake. Do you have another option? Well, my listen, listen. I'm and again, I'm not saying anything bad about Yao. No, I know, I know you aren't. I love Yao Man. Yeah, I just don't know that. I don't know that Yao Man wins. Like, a lot. Like I think Gavin could do really well in other seasons. Oh, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. I mean, we saw Yao Man again. I mean, even though he had a big target, I mean, I I will say I don't think he... I mean, he bonded with... Well, I guess if that side had... Let's, let's say Yao Man ends up on the Hero Shrine. I think Yao Man has a similar problem. Yeah. Whereas Gavin, I think if you put Gavin on a returning season, I think Gavin does well. I think Gavin gets to the merge almost every time he plays. Oh, I agree with that. So I, I agree from that perspective. I think we can move Gavin farther. The only other people that I had on my list that I didn't mention so far, I had Carson from 44 and I did have Jesse from 43. And we, we know Kevin's reasons for not picking anybody from 43. Uh, <laughs> well, and then, I, and then I had a couple of people from Australian Survivor, but I'll hold off on those because Kevin doesn't know them. So, God, I love Australian Survivor. If we were including that, if you two, again, if you two have seen the season, you know a lot about the season. Okay, so well, so let so I'll 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 mention Dirty Harry, um, and I love Dirty Harry, and I'll mention um Luke Toki. I would put Luke Toki over over anyone else, Nate. Here. I did see a little bit of his second season. I know okay. he's really good. Dirty Harry was also on that season as well. Yeah, I love Thanks. Luke Toki, the king of the jungle. Yeah, it's just so so fun and like ah, oh, I love him. He's just so lovable. Yeah. He won Celebrity Big Brother. Okay, yeah. I mean, I can. I mean, he's just so social and charming, and like, I mean, he literally should have been the biggest target on champs versus contenders too and he made it all the way to final four and they just had zero choice but to vote luke out or he I wins devastated yeah he was on an immunity run too and you're like is luke gonna pull this off mm -hmm. yeah i i'm i would say if we want to try to put i, I would like to put luke in the top 20 just because i think he's such uh, uh i mean just how he was able to get that far with the target that should have been on his back is incredible. I remember I had just finished watching like Australian Survivors current seasons when I applied for Vanquish. So mm -hmm. when they like there was a question applying for Vanquish, I was like, "What's your favorite player or whatever?" And I was like, 
David Gennett, you know? And the I got Golden to God. With Shane. Yeah, I got to know with Shane about it. And it was like, I just remember watching that Champions vs. Contenders 2 and him, like, Luke Toki and David working together is probably one of my favorite duos. Oh, they're such a good duo. And it was just a shame that they didn't bring Luke back for All-Stars because he had already played his second season. And they brought back that, like, muscly sexist guy and i was like that could have been luke you mean zach the yeah, the guy that should not have been on the season zach should not have been there um no i saw the first i want to say four episodes of champions vs contenders so like i did Two. see luke play i know luke is really good but like they start with like 24 people so like yeah, yeah. i don't remember everyone and good. they have like, non-elimination rounds he is good <laughs> oh so good yeah no i i um yeah i I mean, if we want to try to put Luke on this list, otherwise I don't. Add, it, is it between Luke and Gavin now, or is there? Yeah, uh, let's just get Yao is out. I yeah. love Yao, but he is out. Well, that's why I suggested Luke as my other option. Right? I like Luke. I would put Luke over Gavin, and I, I like Gavin, but I just I feel like I'm not refreshed on Gavin. Like after this, I'm gonna watch like a best of Gavin Whitman video <laughs> on YouTube. Just to... is there one? Absolutely, there's Probably. one to be. There's okay, one, I just, I just, there's I'm one for Victoria. There's one for Gavin. yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure there is, but yeah. Honestly, I think I'm gonna rewatch that season. It was entertaining as heck. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, if we're gonna put Luke, if we're in agreement there. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm surprised it happened, but I'm happy about it. Yeah, I wasn't sure. All right. So our top twenty, I probably disagree with one of them but like for the most part we put a pretty good list together we got rick You're devins made it. brenda <laughs> malcolm sari jerry manthe russell hans rob sisternino kelly wentworth ian spencer king george amanda ozzy steven fishback dominic chrissy aubrey carolyn stephanie lagrosa and luke toki that's a fire list yeah aside from brenda <laughs> Listen, listen, I will I will defend Brenda because I think if you if you had a, a season that was this cast, like Brenda Brenda could absolutely do well in this cast. Oh, I think she could do well, yeah. I I I agree with that. So I mean she's made the merge twice, so be it. And like Yeah. Brenda think... has great moments. She is so entertaining. I just wish she could have brought more fire into Caramo, and I understand why she didn't. I just, you know, and I hey, wish... She made Dawn take her teeth out. Hilarious. Okay, that's true. I will, And also, like, as someone who has, has, like, tried changing their game up... Into, right. Like, it's very, it's very hard to play differently than you know how to play. So, mm -hmm. like, props to her from going from, like, the dominant, like, alliance leader that she was to more of, like, the lay low don't attract too much attention player yeah i mean she also i mean it's a good thing she had like philip around to take that role <laughs> of the leader so oh philip we should put philip on um no absolutely not absolutely <laughs> not philip and coach actually oh, no. if you were making a worse list yes <laughs> the worst worst people to ever make it to the end of survivor yes oh my all right fun list. well that, that could be a fun list in itself but um i guess now that we're done with that i know moving forward hopefully cam and i we might do an australian survivor review series that's what i'd love to do so we might start from season one and just go in order of that so we'll figure that out um otherwise yeah i mean we could do more lists like this in the future cast a season for the new era second chance we could do that too yeah we could we could definitely do that. So one night, huh? Whoa, weird. Um, weird. I feel like somebody was like coughing garbage. Dane, Dane, Dane. I again, I want to clarify. I don't actually dislike Owen. I just don't care. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, is there anything else we want to say before we sign off of this one? Um, anybody? Let's see. Hold on. Who was? Who did I come up with as a possible idea that I didn't use? Um, Natalie Bolton from mm. from Micronesia, the best the best fan out there. Um, yeah. Lauren Ashley Beck. 
who in other seasons makes it to the end gets jury votes and uh and kathy who you know i think did more in heroes or in all stars after the blow up with lex and rob like to actually try to recover her game and like i think she did well in marquesas um yeah and just got outplayed by vesepia at the end especially right um, but yeah I, so i had those people but uh yeah they're they didn't make the final cut so bye yeah <laughs> all right I shared mine that didn't make the cut. Cam, you had any that did not make the cut? Um, let me check my list here. No, uh, Devin didn't make the list. Jay didn't make the list. Uh, Kersey made the list, I think, right? Yes, she yes. did. Yeah, yes. I have Steph, I have Jesse, Owen, Troy, Sam, uh, Andrea, Wu. Those are the only ones that didn't make the list. I had Malcolm, like... I had a lot of the ones that made it. So I'm like the ones that I'm not happy about are very small compared to the ones on the list that I am happy about. Yeah. yeah. You know, like Jerry, I'm so happy you guys agreed with Jerry and Fishback and Sester Nino and Ian. Yeah, I'm very happy. Malcolm was my number one on there because who doesn't like Malcolm? He's yeah. fantastic. I love I loved that I actually got to meet him too, even if there's it was... a scene where Kevin got cast on that season where Who's Denise got to the end and <laughs> With and him. and maybe Kevin doesn't screw up at the very end like Malcolm did. Listen, <laughs> sadly, Kevin's gonna get his chance. He's gonna get that break. Uh, I know it. Well, I know it. So so not only am I like Sean from from Forty Five, but the guy who said uh, stay positive, test negative. Apparently, his name is Tevin, and I'm like, oh no wonder I didn't get cast. <laughs> <laughs> My day will come. I was close. Yeah. Well, we we can talk more off recording, but we will see you all next time for our next podcast on the Tribe of Nerds. Oh, no.